December 25, 2021, the date that mankind took a tremendous leap once again when the most powerful telescope humans have ever constructed historically entered space for the very first time. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has proven to be a hundred times more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope. The expectations for what this telescope has to give have reached their summit. And the JWST absolutely delivered. The historical telescope has delivered never-before-seen photographs of the universe, an entirely fresh perspective that leaves scientists in awe. In today's video, we're going to unveil the 10 latest amazing photos that the JWST captured that all of us have been waiting for. The smallest galaxy outside our solar system. To start things off, JWST recently transmitted a fascinating image of a lonely dwarf planet that has been hardly interacting with other galaxies, including our very own Milky Way galaxy. At roughly 3 million light years from Earth, the JWST obtained this image of the WLM, or Wolf Ludmark Melot Galaxy, in near infrared. Astronomers are keen to investigate the stars inside the WLM galaxy, since its gas is remarkably similar to that of galaxies in the early universe. This photo includes interesting clouds of nebular gas and background galaxies with awesome features like tidal tails. With this image, we could uncover fresh revelations on how galaxies developed in the early stages of the universe. The Cosmic Hourglass The Webb Telescope just captured an incredible image exhibiting a protostar sitting in a dark cosmic cloud that looks like an hourglass. The infrared image illustrates the structure of clouds of gas and dust, where the blue regions indicate where the dust is at its thinnest and the orange hue indicates where it's at its thickest. The young star L1527 is located just inside the narrow region in the center of the hourglass, and the dark line crossing it indicates a protoplanetary disk around the star. This newborn star could reveal insights on the complexities of the early phases of our own galaxy. The star duo that leaves a fingerprint in space. From a protostar to a pair of stars. This is Wolf Rayet 140, almost 5,000 light years away from Earth. This is a pair of stars that form at least 17 concentric dust rings. Each ring you see in the picture is formed when two stars came closer together and their stellar winds, or their tremendous streams of gas, clashed, compressing the gas and generating dust. The rings you are looking at represent centuries worth of dust creation from these stars. Older telescopes only identified two rings from this star system but the JWST revealed an incredible 17 dust rings, two nearby galaxies interacting with one another. This next one is special, as it is one of the first collaborations between the Webb Telescope and its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope. This is VV191, caught by Webb's near-infrared imagery and ultraviolet and visible light from Hubble. What you see here is a bright white elliptical galaxy at the left and a spiral galaxy at the right. With near-infrared light, we can now see the galaxy's longer, extremely dusty spiral arms. These arms provide the illusion that these two galaxies are overlapping. Don't forget about the background either, since this image displays numerous galaxies in the background. These galaxies look to be incredibly dusty also. Maybe some of them may be the next subject of the Webb Telescope. The Dimorphos Ejecta on September 26, 2022, mankind has unlocked its new protection against the lurking risk of asteroids triggering a worldwide catastrophe. NASA has successfully launched its Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, to deflect an asteroid moonlet dubbed Dimorphos in the double asteroid system, Didymus. Four hours after DART made impact with Dimorphos, JWST photographed the aftermath of the impact. The photograph reveals massive clouds of dust and debris from the impact. Scientists have been reviewing the collision through the telescope numerous times to investigate how the ejecta clouds increase and dissipate over time. Stunning images of Neptune. For the first time in nearly 30 years, we have once again captured the farthest planet in the solar system, the ice giant Neptune. The most striking detail in this image is that the JWST photographed is Neptune's rings and faint dust bands. And at Neptune's equator, a narrow, bright line may suggest that the atmosphere is warming and thus shining at infrared wavelengths. The telescope also captured a previously known vortex near Neptune's southern pole and detected a continuous ring of clouds encircling it. 
The unexpected light region near the planet's pole, however, needs more follow-up investigations, according to NASA. One of the most violent nebulas in the Milky Way. Over 161,000 light years away, inside the Milky Way galaxy sits one of the biggest and most violent star-forming areas we have ever witnessed, the Tarantula Nebula. The JWST has caught what's inside. This nebula is the nest of millions of protostars, which are very young stars that are still feeding off their parent molecular cloud. The telescope also photographed blazing gas and dust clouds, highlighting the blue and purple colors of abundant hydrocarbons. The picture reveals pillars that are loaded with raging young protostars that are still feeding off the nebula's gas clouds. A cartwheel in space. The JWST captured something weird happening approximately 500 million light years away, a galaxy that looks like the wheel of a wagon. Scientists suggested that a very high-speed collision with another galaxy led this one to form its shape. The cartwheel galaxy, as seen in the image, features a brilliant inner ring and a multicolored surrounding ring. These two rings grow outward from the site of contact, like ripples in the sea. The bright core contains vast volumes of heated gas, with the brightest spots being the home of gigantic newborn star clusters. The web photographed the cartwheel galaxy in its transitionary period, from being a typical spiral galaxy just like the Milky Way, to a chaotic ring galaxy, an emerging galaxy party. One of the latest and most impressive photos of the Webb telescope has taken a bunch of galaxies bound to merge with one another to form a super galaxy. This is Stefan's Quintet, an apparent cluster of five galaxies. However, only four of them are truly close together and are caught up in the cosmic dance. The fifth and leftmost galaxies are well in the foreground compared to the other four. Two of the five galaxies in the lower section of the image reveal a current merging between these two galaxies with the other one, the rightmost galaxy, on the brink of joining the merger. Each of these galaxies also has glittering clusters of millions and billions of stars and starburst regions. These photos can disclose how the galaxies interact and merge in the very early phases of our universe. In the background, we can see extremely luminous stars and galaxies, which complete this fantastic image from the JWST. The breathtaking pillars of creation. In 1995, Webb's predecessor, the Hubble Telescope, captured one of its iconic photos that spread and were acclaimed throughout the world. The Majestic Pillars of Creation. 27 years later, the JWST recreated one of astronomy's most legendary photos, and the results are breathtaking. A more vivid, star-filled image of the magnificent pillars of creation. Let's take a peek at what's within this strange yet spectacular marvel of the universe. This new infrared light view from the JWST provides us with a view inside the dust of this star-forming region. While the pillars of gas and dust seem darker and less penetrable in Hubble's view, they appear to be more definitive in Webb's image. These pillars are made up of interstellar gas and dust in the Eagle Nebula. These gases and dust particles are in the process of giving birth to stars, earning the nickname Pillars of Creation. What about the wavy lines at the edge of each pillar that appear like lava? These are ejections from stars that are still developing within the gas and dust. Young stars regularly blast out supersonic jets that clash with clouds of material, just like these pillars. On the other side, the crimson glow originates from the energetic hydrogen molecules that are a result of the jets and shocks. In the background, we can also see hundreds more brimming stars caught in near-infrared. Compare yourself how the JWST's version of this image compares to that of the Hubble telescope.